Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. It has been a long time since we played this, and I'm having bridge building withdrawals. So I thought we'd head back into the campaign where we completed every level unbreaking and under budget, except for this new one, because this was added, well, about a week before I finished these two. So it's a four sheep difficulty. It's generic slash wacky. I was about to say, and we'll see about that, but just looking at that preview... <laughs> What is going on there? So this first level is called Plenty of Pavement. So <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? We got 41 grand to play with, which is quite a lot to be fair. We've only got wood and springs. Uh, so if we just press play, yeah, the road just completely collapsed. What is this level, by the way? Hang on, we're going to have to pause a second. I need to have a little look at this. So we're on... Yeah, we're on someone's desk. A flooded desk. It's underwater. We got like post-its. There's no knobs on the post-its though. That's not very realistic. There's quite a wonky monitor there. It's got like scart leads plugged into it. Oh, there's the Polybridge camper on a little thing there. There's the snowman. Okay, this is quite, quite cool. Level. Oh, there's penguins. <laughs> there's always penguins to find. Oh, what's in the drawer? What is in the drawer? Anything good? No, just more post-its without knobs drawn on them. All right. So anyway, what are we going to do here? I am <laughs> I'm a little bit perplexed, if I'm honest. I guess we could, I don't know, I think we could just spring like all the way across. What does that do? Oh, that literally just goes down like that. Okay, if we were to spring the bottoms as well. We haven't actually spent that much money, eight grand. So then that does that, which I tell you what, it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> For a first stab, this could even make it. Probably a little bit too steep at that end. Let me just speed up and make sure it can't make it. It's thinking about it. It's definitely thinking about it. I mean, we could just head over here and have a little cup of Nif tea in our architect tears mug available at realcivilengineer.com. And then after a slurp, no, still not completed. However, what if we were just to spring or maybe not spring maybe just wood we could do like a muscle up to there and then that will stop this end falling as much although no it has like inverted i think we're still going to have the same issues aren't we yeah okay so what other way could we do this we do have we've got quite a lot of under support here i don't really know why if i'm honest i mean yes we can muscle up like that can we do the same from down here like crazy little stick muscles like if we did that with springs on top you can see oh that could work that could be interesting let's copy that to the other side so if we do that oh boy <laughs> Uh, may need spring under there at least and probably same on that side all right so then we can drive over that oh it does fail there though what if i just make that muscle a bit wider okay that actually worked we got the star this time as well my previous solutions they weren't getting the stars so the question is what do we do in this middle bit i'm thinking spring under there sort of keeps that upwards like in a w shape then does that allow us to drive over yes but that side fails failed you got mullered maybe we just make this like a little bit bigger give it a bit of girth a bit of girth never hurt anyone okay all right however even girthing it up it doesn't seem to work so maybe we bring up these bottom bits yeah and then we gotta just try and get it so it doesn't fall down so like that perhaps Ooh, that did make it but we had a little break there if i just swap these with springs again that's probably gonna do it right yeah oh the road broke at the end oh no way okay but a little tweak that has made it 16 grand but, oh we're in the top 12 percent 263rd in the world that's actually quite reasonable did we beat tyler oh we did beat tyler he did it for 40 grand i didn't even know he played these levels all right with that in mind then let's just have a look in the gallery we'll look at the cheapest solutions first so someone did it for under nine grand and i mean to be fair it's pretty similar to mine it's just a little bit well a little bit cheaper. It's half the price of mine. But yeah, they didn't use the under under supports, just the, the sort of higher ones. So obviously that's a lot cheaper. And yeah, they did use the extended muscles. A lot less girth than mine though. But yeah, you can see by this one, you got a similar sort of layout. You got that on the side, you got the, the W in the middle, and then that on the other side as well. So I think my logic was sound. I, implementation pretty poor though. Anyway, highest budget. Oh, I like this one. Someone loves the strongest shape. Oh my god, look at that bill. That's incredible. Oh, and it's got a heart underneath as well. Showing that love can hold up any bridge. What a metaphor. Anyway, this one. Oh my goodness. The amount of 
bringage going on. Hang on a second, their tea's boiling. Was my tea boiling? Oh yeah, I can see it in the background. Oh no, I drank the cold Nif tea, not the actual Nif tea. And speaking of tea, we have the Nif tea sponsored solution. Nif tea, the only sponsor I've taken that I haven't been called a sellout for. Warning, since the release of Trust Tea, there have been complaints that I've sold out and endorsed two different tea brands while drinking a third Yorkshire. Anyway, Yunru, we've got the RC propaganda under, under the water there, spreading the word to the fish. We've then got this. That is weak. This is strong. Yes. <laughs> Made out of RCE. That is how you make a strong, strong shape. <laughs> <laughs> now that man says hi RCE as usual. He always says hi. So I'm going to say hi back to him. Hi that man. Yeah, we then have, oh, what a filth that is. Shame about the camera going absolutely mental at the end there. Oh, then they did a, they did a slowed down version without moving. So does that say mega muscle? <laughs> the mega muscle. Oh yeah, look. One, two, three, four. They're they're quint muscles, but I like the word mega muscle. Like mega muscle works. Describes what's on my arm as well. Um, RCE, I'm happy Nifty returned. <laughs> Oh, this person doesn't abuse me for my sponsors. Uh, and of course, Alan is back. It's been a while since we've seen Alan. <laughs> Look at the end of it. Oh, Alan. Alan! Right, and then... I thought that was going to be by Artsy, to be honest. Not schmug, but uh, fair play. That's nice. Right, anyway, let's head to the next level. It's called Aerial Acrobatics. So we have a yellow police car over here. Is it a police car? Is it a taxi? I don't know, but it's got to get over there. There's... Ooh, what does that mean? Does that mean it changes direction? Hang on. You've got 11 bit bits of road. So if we were to just put that in and then just go... Boosh, we can then build a bridge for this. So I'm honestly thinking we go under, then over the top. Right, so bridge like that just to see how this works. So a car comes down, hits that. Yeah, it does turn around, and then it heads back the opposite direction, and then jumps into the abyss. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but if you watch this replay, look, there's a box in the way, and we can't just ramp over the top and, like, jump over the box, ignore that checkpoint, because we do actually need to get this checkpoint in order for us to complete the level. And as we saw, the checkpoint reverses our direction. So what are we going to have to do here? I mean, to be honest, although I said we can't just ramp it, what if we do just try and ramp it? Like <laughs> as long as we get through there, so if we just bring this down just to smooth it off a bit, shove an extra bit of road like that. I mean, we, we should still clip that checkpoint. It's just a case of will the turning around completely ruin us? So is this a way that we could do it. Oh, I don't know. Potentially. Potentially. We may need to go higher. Yeah, so even when it doesn't break, we're not quite going high enough. So we may just want to bring all these to the left a bit and like really only just about clip that that checkpoint. You can see it poking through very slightly. Oh, will it work? It could work. It's not going to be a cheap solution, though. Oh, look how close it was. Right, I've just made this a little bit lumpier so it starts higher. Does the jump? Yes. Okay, we made it. I don't know what the intended solution was that top 7%? No way. 135th in the world. What was the lowest score? 16 grand. Oh, wow. That's still really expensive. Oh, I did all right there. I did okay. So let's just have a look at that exit one more time. Yeah, it does reverse, but it lands on the box and that allows it to bounce over. Intrigued to see the cheapest solution. So we got 17 grand here. Oh, it is pretty similar. Yeah, going down, getting the momentum to jump up and over. It's all made out of wood though, apart from that bit. So yeah, it looks like nearly everyone realized you got to get the smoothness of going down to make the jump a little bit higher. Uh, granted, mine wasn't smooth at all. Hey, look, there's Alan's. That's not a very Alan solution. Oh, that's better. That's better, Alan. That's what we've come to expect from you. <laughs> Alan. Oh, no, look at that. We then got this one, which uses water dynamics in order to <laughs> in order to lift the bridge up and make it... No, I'm talking rubbish. RC propaganda with a knob counterweight. That's all that was. And we got another Nifty sponsored solution, which has no RC propaganda on. Has Nifty turned against us after all this time? By the way, look when he actually did this. October. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, look at this. It's my catchphrase. Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to add a boost sticker onto your order at realcivilengineer.com so you can literally spread the word. Anyway, cheers for that, Agasti. That's very, that's very cool. Um, RC likes three bicycles. A daddy bicycle, a mummy bicycle, and a baby bicycle. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. A family going on a bike trip. I do like family bike trips, actually. So you're not wrong there, Paolos. Paulos. Anyway, we then got... 
<laughs> anyway, we then got a replay that's literally just looking at the T. I guess that's another nifty sponsor solution. But I think we're the top 7% finished. Let's go on to the next level. So this is called indestructible. So, oh no, we got an anvil. Oh, what happens to the anvil? Does it just drop? Oh, it does just drop. Boof, that looks heavy. Now, I imagine whatever our bridge does does the anvil like the gap's too long like if we try and build a gap in our bridge i think the anvil is so wide that this will just fall through the same gap now we do only have 85 grand for this i'm actually thinking could i go from there over to there and could we just go over the anvil like what if we go Boo. oh it doesn't let us go over that bit we may be able to manually do oh yeah we can we can so we could potentially do a bridge like that although will our truck just crash into that i imagine it probably will still no harm in trying so let me just finish this quick so with that in yeah it completely crumbles i'll probably have to replace some some of these trusses with steel so i reckon that end that edge these triangles bigger as well right and then oh no <laughs> i was gonna say that worked but it didn't because as soon as the truck touched the bridge it it fell so maybe if we just steal all the way down so i've added a little brace down there now the trouble is are we gonna crash into this little kite thing are oh, we do wait was it the kite no it wasn't the kite it was actually the case for that so we may need to go just a little bit steeper first if we just bring all these nodes that way a bit it's gonna be another one of those how steep can this car drive before computer says no all right so that's well and truly out the way oh it does still crash into the blooming kite okay so we can't go over it which means we're gonna have to go under it and that's gonna be really annoying i'm actually wondering could i this could be cheesy could i just try and like strap it shut so assuming these interact with ro oh they don't interact with roads oh this does though i don't know what this kite interacts with can i can i do a road on top okay this could up this could actually work this could actually work so basically i'm thinking we do that sort of thing and then oh no it doesn't hold <laughs> Because the road doesn't go through there, I thought it might interact with the with the kite, but it doesn't. It falls straight through. Oh, that's annoying. So it looks like the only way we can do this is either, as I said at the start, dodge the anvil or try and hold the anvil up. I reckon we just dodge the anvil. Should be fine. So, boosh. And then, yeah, if we go straight up there and straight up there that should actually dodge it right so if i just build a random bridge like that it's got a hole in the middle then as the anvil drops that should yeah just fall straight through then we've just got to work out how to get some road across that gap now i'm literally thinking road straight up i mean maybe straight up on both sides right anyway then i got this on a truss i'm thinking if i rope it sort of that direction then it shouldn't fall to the left yeah that's just constantly up and then and when this guy bumps into it, it should fall to the right. Yes, it does. So does the rest of the bridge, though. But my aim is when this does fall to the right, I can use, like, another rope to get it to stop in the right place. Sort of by doing something like that. All right, anyway, I'm not sure this is working. I may have to try something else. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm actually thinking grid on, we get foundations involved. I know sacrilege to use a foundation, but desperate times and all that. Right, then can I build something that can hold this anvil? <laughs> Oh, is it not actually that heavy? Oh, whoa. No, everything everything broke still. I just feel like that held a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, that actually worked. Oh, we didn't make it to the flag though. And I'm like 20 grand over budget. Okay, so redesign then. If we go to that point, I reckon I can probably use the nodes on here in order to hold that in the air. Yeah, there we go. So that's 30 grand. And then we've just got to build the bridge now. Surely I can build a bridge for like 50 grand, especially as it's only two spans. So we can do push for one side, push for the other side, add a very efficient truss like that to one side and do the same down the other side. And we just do the support underneath like that. We do steel up to there, get rid of those two, replace that with rope. And then that should hold this side of the span. We're 10 grand under budget. Does it work? 
Yes, 98% stress. Oh, we did it. We did it. We're in, oh, we're still in the top 33%. Not terrible. By the way, fair play, Alan. Fifth in the world. Uh, 30 grand was the cheapest. It steps up to like 42, like really quickly. So in the gallery at the lowest budget, can we see one of those 30 grand solutions? No, we can only see the 42,000 ones. But what? Oh, oh, no way. That's so clever. They use the anvil as a bridge. <laughs> That's genius. That's actually genius. They got a tiny little foundation down there. So because it's low, it's really cheap. And the anvil just drops straight onto it. Is that what all these cheap solutions do? Oh, that's so clever. Oh, why did I think of that? Because I'm not clever. So yeah, oh, look at this one. RCE propaganda in like a 44 grand solution as well. So the RCE drops down. Then the anvil drops down. That's fair play. I'm very impressed with the community. Anyway, time to be even more impressed. Look at the... <laughs> it's an engineer holding it up. He's got a hard hat and everything. <laughs> All right, and we got the Nifty sponsored solution. It's tea time. And look, they still did the anvil trick just up in the air. Oh, I've missed the Nifty sponsored solution. I'll tell you that. Anyway, we then got this. Oh, look, this has a gap. Oh, it has the falling bridge. That's what I wanted to do, but I couldn't. I wasn't clever enough. Fair play, Yunri. Right, we got more RC propaganda. What's going to happen here then? So that drops. Oh, it just wedges in between the two foundations. Fair play. Vertical RC propaganda here. I think oh, it gets destroyed. <laughs> Oh, but the bridges flip all the way around. What? Hang on, watch that again. So the bridges are that way. Bridges flip down. RC propaganda gets annihilated by the anvil. But then the upside down bridges work. Oh my goodness. All right, we've finally got some efficient engineering going on for the solution here with RC propaganda down the shaft. Uh, hi, RCE. Is that a knob or is that an arrow? <laughs> Whoa, someone likes their likes their rope on that level. Uh, what is going on here? What actually, what? <laughs> hi, RCE. Hello. Oh, you did a full falling middle bridge as well. Oh, and you've got efficient solutions over there. Oh, and you've got a t-shirt from my merch store there. Nice. All right, there's Alan. <laughs> That's just taken, taken the mick, that is. Bring in one of those over. That load is way too tall for that truck. So we've then got massive cable stage in the middle. Still doing the falling solution. Still doing the foundation anvil solution. Fair play. All right, something tells me these levels are going to be pretty complicated. So I think we're just going to end with doing three today. My head's hurting already. It's <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared to actually think coming back to this. But yeah, for now, I'm going to say peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.